Hello guys, my name is Martinez and today I want to share a quick tutorial on how to make a photocopy effect in Pixelmator Pro. So one thing to note is that uh, close-up portraits works better. First things first, we need to create a uh, curve adjustments. We can do this in various ways, but uh, let's make an empty layer and make a subtle S-shape uh, curve. The curve intensity depends on the image. This image is already quite contrasted, so we don't need to overdo it. The next step would be to add some grain. You can do that in the same layer or create a new one. I will just do the new layer, size-wise make it 120% and for intensity 70. Great, time to add some effects, so let's create another empty layer and this time go to effects tab and add dot screen effect. Go to halftone section and choose dot screen, reduce sharpness to zero and choose width for 12 pixels or so. Next let's add some noise, go to stylize section and choose approximately 20% of noise. The next effect would be a posterization. So in the same style as type, press posterize and reduce levels to 2. Now let's add a gradient map. So again go to add effect, color adjustments and select gradient map. For shadows choose a dark gray color and for highlights I choose a warm gray color. Great, we are on the right path. So one thing to do is to remove the background. So all we need to do is to choose original portrait layer and remove the background. Then create an empty layer, move it below portrait layer, choose the gradient fill and feel free to experiment. Okay, we are almost there. So optional step would be to add uh, even more noise by creating a new layer moving above uh, original portrait layer and fill it with style and detection. I will link a uh, link in the description below. Okay, one thing to change is blending mode. Feel free to experiment, but for this time I will choose color dodge. One more option is to add the scan lights, so create an empty layer and replace it with the texture. Change the blending mode to hard light and maybe reduce some opacity. So there is another look for your image. And you can adjust effects according to your image, so add more noise or play with gradient colors. So this is it guys, I hope this was interesting and see you in another video.